Good morning, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here, speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. Today is the 22nd of November, and it's a Sunday here in the States, or this could be for the 23rd of November and a Monday in Australia. Uh, the moon is in Pisces all day. Yay, I love the Pisces moon. Um, <laughs> and... Um, we have two aspects. They're uh, a little bit more obscure. That could be um, affecting the, uh, the day. Um, but let's talk a little bit about the Pisces moon as I, as I am uh, known to do, because I love the Pisces moon. Um, so the Pisces moon gives us a sense of um, connection. We're more empathetic. We're more sympathetic with the Pisces moon. We are more interested in our imagination and um, than we are in facts, <laughs> actually. Um, it, is the, it is the last sign of the zodiac. So each time the moon goes through the zodiac every month from Aries to Pisces, um, it's like you're, you're living through like a, a whole like world of experience uh, with your emotions. And Pisces moon is the time to sort of let go and let God. So there's a need to, uh, there's a need for forgiveness generally um, that we can access with the moon in Pisces and understanding and compassion and all those things. But we can also find ourselves escaping into unreality, which, you know, quite frankly, with as, uh, you know, that old, that old movie, Reality Bites, well, reality is biting pretty hard. And so it's not... <laughs> It's not that unusual that people might want to just um, um, go in the go the route of Pisces, um, but we can't actually live there as much as I would like to. Uh, we can't actually live there. It is um, it is a temporary visitation into the world of imagination, and we can access a lot. It's like a, it's like the giant ocean of cosmic consciousness, and if we throw our fishing poles and you know throw a line in. Um, with an intention to bring something that's going to, uh, some wisdom out of it and something that's going to feed us, um, we'd be surprised, we, we'd be pleasantly surprised what we can get. Now I'm standing here next to this enormous holly bush that we have in the backyard. Uh, you know, my, my backyard is pretty overgrown, so sometimes it's hard to see um, the, the beauty and the, the different things, but this holly bush is enormous, um, full of holly berries, and what usually happens is sometime in February, um, the robins come in and strip this naked. Then, so one day you have this, and the next day it's all gone. Um, and the robins are full of holly berries. Now, holly berries are poisonous for us, but obviously not for robins. <laughs> so, uh, but I thought you might enjoy looking at this, even though it's a little sort of pre-Christmas, <laughs> as it were. Um, so the other two things that are going on today that are worth mentioning, and they're a little bit more uh, obscure aspects, is I sesquadrate between the Sun, which is in Sag now, and Mars, which is in Aries. This sesquadrate is um, how we want to take action to get um, information, wisdom, and understanding out into the world. Uh, but in order to do that, we might have to make some adjustments uh, to our message or the way we say, our, not necessarily to the message, but the way uh, we express it. Uh, not everybody is going to be open to what we have to say um, or the reasons that we act, the reasons on uh, that we act. So um, there will be pushback here. And that includes pushback for the people who are uh, spreading false stuff and spreading true stuff. So it's not like if it's true, it, it flows out. Uh, and if it's false, it doesn't No, it's hard for each. It's hard for the true and the false. And with the, you know, we're having this, uh, sort of strange happening here, uh, at this time with truth and lies you know, the truth being said and lies being said simultaneously at the same time and people selecting which side of the divide they want to uh, 
they want to hold on to. Um, there is a relativity of truth. Um, and then there are the facts, um, which truth is supposed to be based on. And so uh, there are, uh, so, so actually the best side to, or the, the, the side that will most likely, um, I don't want to say win, because <laughs> that's, that's just such a, uh, uh, well, anyway, uh, the, the stuff that can be um, uh, proven through fact is the stuff that will stand. Let's put it that way. That's what's going to stand. Um, and it's not going to be so much what you want it to be, uh, you know, depending on who you are. But, 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 but the truth does and facts do matter. And we have some, uh, some uh, bittersweet right there. I don't know if you can see it climbing up. It's unfortunately very invasive. Um, and the yard is full of it. Um, it can, like, uh, strangle out of the trees. So I like to have it around, but I, I try to avoid it from uh, taking over. But it's a, it's a, hard, it's a hard battle, especially in the spring. Um, and then the other aspect that's happening today is a, uh, in conjunct between Mars and, is it Mars and Mercury? Yeah, I think it's Mars and Mercury. Um, and that has to do with information, Mercury, Mars action. People could be taking action on, uh, information that is not quite right. <laughs> uh, and so there needs to be an adjustment in, in our actions and in the way we communicate. So there's all of this uh, sort of, is it true, is it not true, is it real, is it not real, at a time when the moon is in Pisces. So it can be somewhat confusing. If you're looking for answers today, you might not find them. Um, and I don't know, I think that one of the things that we have to understand is that the more energy that you give something, the, the more power it has. And that is something that Donald Trump definitely understands. And so that's why he creates buzz. That's why he creates chaos. Uh, and if, it, if the chaos is um, pointed in his direction, um, all that's, that's the, that's the best. That's the best of all worlds for him. Even if it's negative, he doesn't care if it's negative or positive. He just wants the energy. He's like a black hole that sucks all the energy <laughs> out of the air. We've all had people like that in our lives that exhaust us. And he is literally exhausting us. Here's some, uh, rose hip. You know, there's, there's, there's so much beauty and, uh, in the in the starkness of the late fall and then the winter when the winter comes it's not quite here yet um but there's a lot of beauty all the same it, you just sometimes have to look for it a little bit harder um but a lot of structure is is revealed and so today is a good day to access the energy of imagination the energy of forgiveness, the energy of creativity. It's a great day to meditate. It's a great day to pray. It's a great day to create. It's not necessarily a great day to try to get your point across factually. People may not be interested in hearing any of it, any of it today. That being said though, I do intend to do <laughs> a reading on uh, I wanted to take a look at Joe Biden's chart, um, his solar return. He just had a solar return, and it's a pretty interesting chart. Maybe we could take a look at some of the solar returns and the different charts of people. Um, and then there's some things coming up on these people's charts that are, that are pretty potent that are worth taking a look at. Uh, so I may do that exploration, even though I just said that people aren't going to listen to facts. <laughs> Well, we'll see. My moon's in Pisces. Maybe I'll just go from the intuitive place to do it. <laughs> All right. So just going to do this, a little scan here. We're back to the to the office here. And uh, with all the leaves down now, 
Unfortunately, you can see all the things that we have to fix. <laughs> but this, we have a list. We have a list. And uh, of maybe like 25, 30 things. If we can get five of them done, we'll be happy before it gets too cold. Uh, we used to be a lot more ambitious, but uh, now we have to respect the old bones, as it were. <laughs> so, uh, so you see that little red car up there? That is, uh, I just bought that car from a friend of mine, my friend Kathleen. It's a cute little Scion. I'm really excited about it. It's the first, well, it's not really new. It's, it's a used car, but it's the first new vehicle we've had in, in quite a long time. And uh, my old Acura is, uh, served us well, served us well. And uh, it's, I think it's time to put it out to pasture, but all the same. All right, guys, so let's just finish here with the beautiful apple tree. That is an apple tree. I think you guys probably know that, but I thought I'd mention it again. The garden that is sleeping, mostly still some herbs out there. Um, yeah, so have yourself a beautiful day. Enjoy this Pisces moon. Activate your imagination. Activate the wonder. Practice compassion and forgiveness. Um, and love. All right, guys. As always, it's such a pleasure to share my yard with you. I really love this land, and I feel honored that I have an opportunity to sort of go into the nooks and crannies of this place and uh, share with you. All right, guys, like and subscribe, and I will see you again later. Take care. Have a wonderful day.